G'day. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be cooking a pork roast. I uh, just got it set in here at the moment. We've got the fire going. It is a bit warm in here. As you can see, I've got all my uh, safety PPE on. Well, that even got even got shoes on. Not. So anyway, like I said, we're just going to be cooking a roast. I've got my ingredients here. I'm going to make up a bit of a a uh, bit of a dry rub. So I've got some onion salt, smoked paprika, garlic powder, Italian herbs mix, a uh, bit of pepper. That's I've got some potatoes there that I'm going to do. Uh, so that's going to go on the potatoes, uh, salt, and a bit of bit of olive oil. And of course the main ingredient, cold beer. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to take the roast out. I hope you guys can hear me. I've got, got a microphone here as well, so I might be able to switch back and forth between the audio. Every time I seem to do these cooking videos, it seems to want to blow its ring out, so I'm going to put up the wind first. So, as you can see there, got the roast. Got the other little GoPro set up there, so I've got two angles, because most of the time I've just got the one angle here. Get a bit of paper towel ready. Right. Get the beer out of the way. Alright, so I'm going to take this fishneck stocking shit off, whatever it is, take that off, uh, she's falling apart a little bit on the bottom but that's alright, chuck that in the pan, chuck that to the side for now. So what I'm going to do first is get some more paper towel, just try and dry it, there's only sort of just coming out of the fridge, it's all thawed through properly so it's, if you're going to do this type of stuff make sure your meat's thawed out first. Just give it a give it a pat down. Get any of that excess water and moisture off it, off, off the outside, especially if you want it to sort of um, go a bit crispy, like um, sort of like crackle. Just, especially the skin, just give it a bit of a wipe down. All right. Around the fire. All right. So what you're gonna do then? Take your olive oil, give it a little drizzle. You don't need much at all. That'll do you. And what you're going to do, rub it in. I'll probably put a little bit too much on there, but that'll be alright. Just rub it right in and rub it all over it. It's not going to matter because you're going to, you don't sort of want it to stick in there anyway. In the camp oven, I've got a, got a little wire rack. Just so this isn't sitting directly on the sitting directly on the bottom of it and burn it. Get some table salt or just any sort of salt. You can use um like rock salt if you wanted, but I just got some table salt. It's just easy. So just get a little bit, get some of it, sprinkle it over. You wanna. You know, you want a decent bit on there, so we'll just cover it. So what you're going to do, you're going to want to rub it in. That might be a bit much, but it's alright. You're going to rub it in. Try and get it, try and get it everywhere in there. Get on the bottom of it, get it on the sides. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to set that. Set that over here for a sec. Now, I'm just going to mix up a bit of a bit of a dry rub. So I just got just got a container here. Right. So what we're going to start with, we'll go start off with a bit of onion salt. You're going to want to fairly cover it, so you're going to need a you're going to sort of want a fair bit. Never have too much onion and garlic, I reckon. You want a bit of, bit of garlic. This is just garlic powder. Just this stuff you can pick up from anywhere. It's just woolly stuff. Love the smell of garlic. Yeah. You never have too much garlic either. A bit. That'll sort of do. Get a bit in there. Plenty of garlic powder. And then we've got just some smoked paprika. Really good stuff. It's a real good smoky flavour. Love this stuff. So you're going to want a bit. 
I'd probably do because smoking Pabrika it sort of sort of takes over. It's it's a very strong, very strong sort of flavour. Got some Italian herb mix. Put that in there. Don't want a great deal of that. Sort of like that. I wasn't going to put any pepper in there, but I might just crack a bit in. That'll probably do, yeah. Right, so now I've got all that done. You can see in there. I'm just going to mix it all up. Try and crush up any sort of any sort of lumpy bits like that. Right, that should that should just about do it. it smells lovely. Tastes pretty bloody good too. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna sprinkle it all over. You sort of rub it. Rub it in, get that in it as well. Don't worry about getting your hands dirty. Just rub it in. Get it all, rub it underneath. Rub the whole lot. Get it in all the uh, get in all the crevices. To be honest with you, this is my first time doing this, so I'm sort of just making it up as I go. Sort of make it just sound good, and somehow people listen. So that's looking that's looking pretty good now. Got that pretty well covered. It'll be all right once it starts cooking. All right, dust my bloody hands off. Probably should have brought some water over with me, you know, clean my hands up a bit. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to go wash my hands real quick, and then I'll come back to you. Alright, back again, wash my hands. Of course, got myself another beer. So anyway, well, I'm not going to need, oh, we'll need the pepper. And that'll be about it. Oh, and, the, and the oil, of course. Oh, and we might, I'll use a bit of garlic powder as well for the potatoes. Other than that, that'll be about it. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'll move all this out of the way, sit it back in this container here, for now, that'll be alright in there. Back in there. Dust all this back into there somehow. That'll be alright. Right, so what I'm going to do, get the camp oven, it's been sitting there for a while. Oh, it's going to be hot. All I've got in here, try and get it out without burning myself. Just got a little rack in there, you can see there. Just got that in the bottom so that the, the roast isn't actually sitting flat on the base. Stops it from burning and all that sort of stuff. Right, so what I'm going to do, get the roast, dab it in a bit more of that. Right, and just set it straight on there, like that. So what I'm going to do, take this over to the fire, uh, put some coals, I'll a little set up here, and I'm going to uh, get this cooking. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I've got a little, little thing set up here, I've got the GoPro there, so you might be able to see it on that. It's the bottom of an old pot belly, it's the old base, so I'm going to, it's all cast iron, so I'm going to sit Set the coals on that, camp oven on that, and then coals on the top. Right. Just take your camp oven. Sit it straight on that. Like that. What I'm going to want, lay on top. Just like that, straight the fire back up.
Right, so now I'm just going to let that sit. She'll be right like that for maybe, oh, we'll check it in an hour anyway. Leave for an hour, come back and check it. And uh, she should be good to go. So it'll be good. Bloody hot, remember? PPE, as you can see, I've got it all on. No, um, got my shoes on. So it's, it's all good. I'm going to leave that and then come back and check it later on and uh, check back in with you. All right, so it's probably been about an hour and a half. Um, I've got the timer set for the potatoes, I've just put them on, um, I sort of forgot about them. They're, they're probably going to take a little while, the, but the roast is pretty well ready. Um, I've taken it off the coals, I've had to, I had to top the coals up a few times, put a few more hot ones under there just to get it cooking a bit more. But uh, I've just checked it, she's cooked. So what I'm going to do, I'll brush the coals off, I'll bring it over to the table, we'll cut it up and uh, see how she looks. So uh, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to leave the potatoes there a bit longer. and. Uh, They'll be good as well. Alright, so we're going to attempt to take it out. We'll sit on our little chopping board we got here. And uh, see if we see if we can actually get it out without dropping it on the ground. Cool. Alright. There we go. I'm going to drop the bloody lid in there. Right, that's better. Right up over here. Oh, that's cooked beautifully. Right, see if we can flip her over. Tastes alright anyway. See if we can flip her over. As well, see that? Beautiful. All right. Go there. I'll give you the look of it. She's uh cooked nice. Well, she's not she's not crackled, but she'll be all right. Right. We're gonna cut into it. See how she looks. And uh, yeah, hopefully she tastes all right. All right. Let's see how she looks. Oh, look at that! Absolutely beautiful. Lovely. Get a look at that. Bloody beautiful. It's going to take a quick picture for my Instagram and Facebook. Uh, my Instagram, if you haven't followed me already, is wild underscore underscore bushman. And my Facebook is just wild bushman. So if you can, go over, give me a follow, give me a like. It would be greatly appreciated. I have all these photos up on them. Uh, I took a few others with the camp oven and all that on the fire. So if you want to go over there, give me a like, give me a follow. Be awesome. All right, now for the big moment, the taste test. I'll try. I'll try this bit that I cut off the end. It's got plenty of plenty of rub on it. Let's give it a go. She's a bit hot though. Absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> a little bit of spice and it's actually not as salty as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be quite salty because of all the, all the little salt I put on it. Which is perfect. Nice and juicy too, nice and tender. You can see you there. She just pulls apart. Beautiful. Lovely. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was my first roast that I did with my own rub and all that and then the first roast I've ever done on the coals like that so turned out really good it's a pork roast you do it with beef or whatever those potatoes will be ready later on so you probably won't see them but I'll chuck a picture up of the potatoes as well next to the next to the roast and it'll be be really good so anyway guys smash that like button press that subscribe button down below check out some of the other videos share the channel around as well uh, there's a heap of other cooking videos and stuff that I've sort of done so anyway remember Safety first, as you can see. But anyway, guys, stay wild. And I'll see you next time. Ah.